Hey everybody, Tim here. Welcome back to the channel. I just got a quick little video here showcasing some of the accessories that I think are pretty necessary if you want to get serious about playing pool. I'm not showing this in the video, but obviously if you want to get serious about pool, uh, the first thing you need to do is get yourself a, a decent cue that you like and that you're comfortable playing with. And then the next thing you need is you're going to want a case so you can carry that cue around without it getting damaged. Um, I bought this case on Amazon. It was not very expensive. You can get a lot of decent options without spending a lot of money. And next up we have the magic rack. If you're unfamiliar with this, instead of your traditional triangle for racking the balls, this is a template rack that goes on the table and it holds the balls tight together so that you get maximum energy transfer when you break the balls. The smaller of the two racks here works for nine ball and 10 ball. And then the larger one is for the eight ball racks. And just quickly show you here, there's a nine ball rack with a template rack and there's a 10 ball rack and the other one here is used for the eight ball rack. And as you can see, there are zero gaps between any of the balls. Every ball is touching tightly to the ball next to it. I can tell you from experience that the spread you get on the balls when you break is night and day using the template rack compared to a normal triangle. And this next accessory is just a scorecard. It's definitely not necessary, but I do a lot of practicing where I play the ghost, and it's nice just to be able to quickly keep track of the score. Or if you have someone over and you're playing a match, it's nice to keep score. And next up, we have a glove. This is personal preference. I like to use a glove because it keeps the, the cue gliding smoothly on your hand, even if you get hot and sweaty. And you do not have to spend a lot of money on these. I think I got 10 for $20 on Amazon. This is one of the best accessories to get, a spotted cue ball. It is very effective in helping you learn how to control the cue ball, what spin you're putting on the cue ball, etc. Um, I highly recommend anyone getting serious about pool has some kind of cue ball that has markings on it that shows you how you're hitting the cue ball. And you also want to get yourself a good quality chalk. There's lots of good options out there. I, I like the Predator chalk myself. It seems to last a long time and works well. Next up is it's just a spot. I call it a spot. You get a little piece of, of cloth from the table so you can put it down. When you break the balls, you want to put the cue ball on it. If you're practicing your jump shots, you want to put the cue ball on it. This will significantly save the wear and tear on the cloth on your table. And this is definitely not necessary by any means, but it's just a ball marker. If, if you're playing and you have a, you know, a mark on the cue ball that you want to clean off or, or even on one of the object balls, you just place this down. Then you can remove the cue ball. You can clean it and you can put the cue ball back in the exact spot it was on on the table. And this way you can continue your run out knowing that you didn't put the cue ball back in a different spot and maybe that affected some of the run out. And this one's pretty necessary. You have to have some type of tip shaping tool. If you're a beginner and you miss cue often, you really need to get that tip back in, in proper condition. So. Uh, I like the bow tie because it has the pick, so I use that quite often. Uh, I use the multi-tool here for the main shaping of my tip. And then this other one here I use just because it's easy for rounding off the edges of my tip. And the last thing I have are these paper reinforcements. They are extremely handy for practicing pool and stickering up shots. You can put them down on the table and the balls will sit in the in the little holes and you can mark the table so you can set up the exact same shot and shoot it over and over and know that you're 
shooting the shot with the balls in the exact same position. So it's very handy for practicing a shot that you may be struggling with. And yeah, uh, that's going to do it. I That's all I have really. That's pretty much most of the accessories I use. If there's anything you guys use that I don't have in this video that you think would be helpful, please let me know. I'm, I'm always dying to try new things and expand my game. And other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And take care. Happy queuing.